Hello everybody, it's Carly from cookingwithcarly.com and today I have some exciting news for you. The York Peppermint Patty Cookie from Crumble, my copycat recipe, is officially on my website. Before we get going and I unpack how exactly we make this cookie, do me a favor and like the video, subscribe to my channel if you like all things cookies and reviews. We do a lot of that over here. So to get going first, let's talk about how this is a brand new cookie. So it was featured at Crumble this week and it was one that like I was immediately drawn to, to try and recreate because the, the filling in the middle was like a mystery to me, okay? It's literally the exact filling that you would get inside of a York peppermint patty. And I really wanted to figure out how to make that. And so that's what I have done and it is so good. So we start off with just a dark chocolate cookie base. This is very similar to the cookie base in like the uh, Cosmic Brownie cookie and the Heath cake cookie, uh, like the chocolate cake cookie. Those super chocolatey bases, this is very similar. So we start out with that. We've got like butter in there, eggs, cocoa, vanilla, what else is in there? Flour, baking soda, baking powder, things like that. And then once the cookie dough itself is made, we set that aside and then we make the peppermint filling. So what is in the peppermint filling is butter, powdered sugar, this peppermint extract, which make sure to get peppermint and not just mint, you want peppermint. And then the last thing is actually corn syrup. And that gives the perfect texture of the inside of a York peppermint patty, which is really exciting. So once you mix all of that together, we'll portion out the dough and roll it into a ball and then use your thumb to kind of press a hole into your ball of dough and we're going to fill it with that peppermint filling and then roll that cookie dough ball back up, flatten it just slightly and then we'll pop them into the oven. They bake for about like 14 or 15 minutes and these ones will spread. So they will flatten, they'll spread and that peppermint filling might peek through the top um, as they start to crack but that's okay because we're going to put chocolate on the top anyways. So that's totally fine. Once they're done, pull them out of the oven and we're going to let them cool completely, completely before moving on. So once they have cooled completely, we're going to just melt some milk chocolate, spoon the milk chocolate on top, spread it around, and then immediately top it with a halved York peppermint patty. So York peppermint patties that you're going to want to buy are these ones. They're the minis and they are already unwrapped. So bonus there. You don't have to deal with the wrapper. Just cut it in half and put the York peppermint patties on top while that chocolate is still melted so it will stay, right? And then toss the cookies into the fridge and chill them for at least 30 minutes. Longer the better. These cookies are served chilled and I personally really like them chilled because something about peppermint and cold that is just great. This cookie is perfect for Christmas, perfect for winter because it's just chocolate and mint. Chocolate and mint screams Christmas to me for some reason. So definitely make these this holiday season. Now a question that I get asked frequently with all of my crumble cookie recipes is if you can make them smaller, right? If you have to make them giant or if you can make them a little bit smaller. And generally the answer is yes. But when I tested these cookies with smaller cookies and smaller amounts of that peppermint filling, the peppermint filling kind of just dissolved and went into the cookie when there wasn't as much of it. And so for this cookie, if you want smaller portions, I would just suggest making the big cookie and then cutting them into smaller portions instead of trying to make them smaller. There's my tip for the day. All right. Let's do this. And during my taste test video of this cookie this week, I mentioned that I thought the top would be better with ganache. I still might, but 
I wanted to make it exactly how Crumble did, and so they use just semi-sweet chocolate on top, but when it's cold, it gets hard and crackly, which, you know, that's exactly how York Peppermint Patty is, and so it's just like a personal preference, but if you do want a semi-sweet chocolate ganache on top instead of the just plain semi-sweet melted chocolate that's hard, just go to the Cosmic Brownie cookie recipe on my site, and you have the ganache recipe there, so. There you go, there's a little tip. So the texture differences between the cookie and the filling are magical. If you love peppermint and chocolate, this cookie seriously is so good. It tastes just like a York peppermint patty. The peppermint is there, it's strong enough, but it's not overpowering. And like I said, I really like the creamy texture of that filling it is so good now before i go i want to remind you that i am here every monday with a crumble taste test i go to crumble bright and early monday mornings to get the weekly box we come home and we taste test and we review we dissect we talk about what would be better and i just help you decide if you want to go to crumble that week and which cookies you want to buy so join me back here for that video on Monday and we will talk to you guys later. See ya.